Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Shu. Today's topic is everybody's favorite, no taking apps with AI. And I'm super excited to share with you my top eight picks. So let's get started. There are many not taking apps, but Reflect is quickly gaining popularity, especially since the recent update that allows you to use GPT-4 within the app. As far as I know, it's probably the only not app that can do that at the moment. So how does it work? Well, for instance, you can choose AI palette from the slash command menu, where you can select from the prompt list, such as write a summary, simplify, condense and uh, fix grammar. The variety of available prompts is one of the great things about Reflect. But on top of that, you can create your own prompt and save them as templates. Simply write what you want from AI and then save it by clicking on the arrow icon. Then you can use this anytime quickly. Alternatively, you can highlight a sentence or a paragraph and then choose this magic wand icon where you can choose how you want the AI to help you. So that is the AI aspect of Reflect. It's really cool note-taking app with such a beautiful design. I love how clean the interface is, which makes it intuitive and uh, easy to use. Some note apps tend to pack too many things and make it slow and heavy, but Reflect feels super light and responsive. I imported lots of book highlights and a note, but it still works super fast and smooth. Map, which is their graph view, looks really nice too. It can be useful if you want to get the overview of your notes and see how things and the ideas are related to each other and also it's available on iOS too which is great because some new note apps still don't have mobile versions so you can use Reflect anywhere you go. Anyway it costs $10 a month to use it's pretty reasonable. Okay, let's move on to the next one, which is Mem. Mem is actually one of the first apps to attempt to integrate AI into note-taking and uh, knowledge management. Because of that, it's pretty advanced and uh, its use of AI is incredible. I feel like it's one step ahead of the other note apps in that aspect. Let me show you why. So for example, when you're writing something down, Mem will automatically analyze it and suggest similar notes you have. Uh, say I'm writing about note-taking methods. It knows that's what I'm writing about and it will bring up relevant notes notes for review on the sidebar. This is frankly amazing because it's automating that process of gathering materials and uh, resources for your writing, which is probably one of the most time consuming parts of writing. This kind of real time analysis is super useful and uh, I think that's how AI shines the most as your writing assistant. Anyway, just like Reflect, you can also use the slash command to ask AI to write things for you. You could simply ask it to continue writing from where you left off, or you can write your own prompt or questions. It's it's very fast and uh, takes only a few seconds to get a response. But I guess this is where there's a room for improvement. For instance, it doesn't have as many prompts as Reflect has. And also you cannot save your custom prompt, which will definitely make Mem even better AI note-taking app. So that's the AI aspect of Mem. It's such a polished app overall. I like it has a dedicated section for your tasks where you can see all of your to-dos in one place. So you could easily use it as your to-do app. And plus it has iOS mobile app, so you can see your task list on the go. And it's also a fantastic collaboration tool. For instance, you can connect your Gmail account to Mem as well as creating groups so it's easy to share your notes with people. So it's great as a personal knowledge management tool but also as a company or team knowledge management tool too. That's a huge difference between Mem and other note apps. Okay, I cannot make this video without mentioning Notion. We all know how powerful Notion is, especially after the recent introduction of Notion AI. I'm pretty sure you've heard of it because it was literally everywhere a while ago. So I won't go into details. I will just say that it's a super handy tool. Similar to Reflect, you can use AI for writing using various prompts, as well as other things like um, generating a list of to-dos based on your current note. And like Mem, Notion is excellent both as a personal and team knowledge management tool. Speaking of Notion, many people use it to manage their contacts and their social network, but a much easier way to do it with Dex, who is today's sponsor. It packs so many features that make it effortless to connect with interesting people and keep in touch with them, as well as your friends. With Dex, whenever you find someone you want to connect with, you can directly import their information into your contact list with just a few clicks. And then you can add a note or add a reminder so you don't forget to get in touch with them. This works on pretty much any social network website, such as LinkedIn, Twitter, and Instagram. And it's great, especially on LinkedIn, because Dex has this AI-powered feature where you can craft a reply or message with one click, and then you just need to send it or edit it a little bit. This honestly saves so much time and helps you reach out and reply to more people. 
all the contacts can be found on your Dex dashboard. It's not just the ones you saved, but also the ones you imported from Facebook, Gmail, and more, which lets you build a unified contact list that you can always refer to. I love this because I no longer have to switch between apps to find the people I want to reach out to. But my personal favorite is that you get reminders for people's birthdays. And that was the only reason why I was using Facebook, to be honest. So maybe I can finally delete it now. Anyway, there's so much more to explore and it's honestly a complete toolkit for anyone who wants to meet more people and stay in touch with your friends, which is surprisingly hard as an adult. So using Dex can make that process so much easier and fun. If you're interested, you can check it out from the link below. Thanks. Okay, now let's get back to the list. The fourth one is my favorite. It's Napkin. It's another early adapter of AI as a note app. It's a little bit similar to Mem in terms of how it uses AI. When you create a new note, it analyzes its content and suggests similar notes from the past, making it easier to discover connections between notes. I love this app because of its simplicity. Normal fancy features like the graph view or bi-directional linking. It's like your personal library with an AI assistant librarian in it. I ended up using Napkin because I realized that I don't need those fancy features after trying so many note apps. But you can check my video on how I use Napkin. Number five is personal AI. This might be the most unique one on this list, but I do believe that this is where note-taking apps might be heading in the future. The way it works, it's completely different from other note apps. When you sign up, you get your own AI chatbot, but it's not like ChatGPT that already knows tons of things. It's a baby AI who knows absolutely nothing. So your job is to feed it with data and information. Just like you do with a note app, you teach it what you learned and think by writing it down and your AI will remember it and organize the information for you. It doesn't have to be text. You could just give it a URL to a YouTube video or an article you saw and it will learn the content automatically. So if you ask it what it learned recently, it will give you a bunch of things from the items you fed. Uh, the way I see it is that it's a self-organizing knowledge base that you can talk to and interact with. Anyway, like a normal note app, you could also create a new document where you can write your thoughts. And as you write, it's possible to talk to your AI for ideas and get suggestions, which are of course only based on what you've already fed it. Also, supposedly it's possible to get a real-time suggestion from AI as to what to write next, but it's not working on mine. I have no idea why. It just doesn't work. So uh, there are some not so small problems with this app. Nonetheless, I'm very excited about it. If it continues to improve, it could completely revolutionize the way people take notes and write. Another note app with a great AI assistant is Bundle IQ. I think this one is great if you're a student or an academic. It's a new app, so it might not be as polished as the other apps, but it's getting better fast, especially with the latest AI update. What's cool is that as you write or take notes, AI can analyze the content and suggest related notes you have, just like in Mem. For example, if I'm writing about glucose levels, it automatically gives me a list of notes I've taken on that topic. This way, I can gather resource materials and uh, write much faster, but that's not all. It also shows you relevant passages from PDF files too. So if you read lots of academic papers, you can upload them to Bundle IQ, which will analyze them. Then you can get an AI summary of the entire PDF or each page. And if you're writing a paper, you can get related passages from those PDFs. It's great because it saves you time from doing this manually, which can take hours. And additionally, you can ask questions about the content of each note and PDF file too. And say you're reading this paper and you just want to know something. You can just ask it and uh, get an answer. This is great, especially if the document is complex and uh, long. So you see, these features can be extremely helpful for writers, students, and uh, academics. Okay, finally, the last two apps are Logseek and Obsidian because these two can do anything. They are the ultimate note-taking apps with a wide range of plugins. So naturally, they have some kind of AI integration too. But this extensive customizability doesn't necessarily mean good because you can easily overcomplicate things and create a mess or spend so much time trying to build the perfect system that you don't actually do anything. Anyway, like Notion, there are many tutorials and uh, videos about them, so I won't go into details, but if you're interested, you can check my previous video. Oh, by the way, if you're looking for a better way to organize your tasks and projects, check out this guide I made. It covers about 30 popular to-do and plan apps, so you can find the best one for you. All right, thank you so much for watching, and uh, if you liked it, please subscribe and uh, leave a like, and uh, I will see you in the next video. Bye. Thank mm -hmm. you.